So this is the part that we printed off. Second part, part two. Take that off, we'll put this back in. But I'm gonna glue this one on. This is a bust, this is not a part that you'll have. I created that from a portrait of my mom when she had just started teaching so that we can get two parts off of it. Some place where it really won't make a difference. Won't change the cosmetic look of that other part. I think I might be able to put it down like that right there. Yeah, that looks good. It actually fits right into where her hair is. And I, what I'll do for y'all is give you part one again, another print of part one, and have y'all uh, print these two off together. So our part two is right here. I'm gonna place this on. And because I'm gonna go a little bit thinner with the investment, I'm gonna glue around the edge as well. And we'll do this in class if we need to. Turn that off. I'm going to turn this upside down so the weight of that doesn't go down. And we'll let that dry. 80% plaster of Paris, 15% talcum powder, and then 5% Portland cement. And that'll prevent a lot of the cracking that you'll get with just straight up plaster of Paris when you heat this up. So I'm going to go one full bottle. Normally it's two parts of your mix one part water, but I'm going to play it by ear and I may adjust it. I want it to be thin. That helps me coat the part. I want this to be thin enough so we can coat that part. And if you use warm water, a lot of times it'll set before you're ready. So if you make any mistakes, at least this method gives us a chance to adjust for any mistakes we might make. I'm gonna get all of that out. Let me get something to scoop that out with. So as this starts to set, we're gonna start seeing little bubbles pop up and you see them right now popping. We wanna make sure none of those bubbles set and rest up against our part. Not that it won't work, but it takes more cleanup for that. The issue is the time that it takes because we're gonna have to let this cure for 12 hours before I can heat it up. That'll take at least five hours because it's gotta be a slow heat up or it'll crack really bad. And I have to do it in stages. Take our cast, put it in there. Equal distance from all the sides, we'll lock that down. This is an electric kiln. We'll keep this at 150 Celsius for two hours and we'll do each one of these phases at two to two and a half hours. So the next one we'll, we would bump up to is 350 Celsius and do that for about two hours. And then we jump up to 700 Celsius. But I do that normally anywhere from two to two and a half. And that's really your burnout phase. And then we gotta cool it down. I normally cool it down for about two hours and I bring it back down to 200 degrees Celsius, 200, 250, somewhere right around there. And I do my pour. It's super hot. So this thing is really hot. So we got to make sure it's not too close to anything. It can melt. So this is red hot. Taking the top part of that and getting any little particles or trash. And that'll stay molten for quite a while to avoid it getting cooling off too fast and going into thermal shock and breaking. And this thing will slide out of here, so that's why I need a bottom on it. Bring it over here, make sure it's not gonna touch anything. Make sure nothing is in our way. All right, that looks good. We're gonna pour that right down in there. This is super hot. 
put it back in. So the aluminum that we're casting is still hot, but we kept the mold hot as well. It's 500 degrees. All right, here's what the parts look like after we've cast those. So I've still got some cleanup. This is where I cut the sprue away. And so what I'll do is take a Dremel, clean that out. But you can see on this open end that hasn't had any cleanup, that three quarter inch tube fits in there. And that's what we were shooting for. This was set at 0 0.80. So that's how much shrinkage we've had. So we wanted it, and it is, some of that is just needs cleanup. So it's the right size. This was set at 0.66, but this is 0.62. So that's how much shrinkage happened there. But that's what we want, a fairly good fit, and that's without any cleanup. Here's what bubbles create. And any trash that gets into your model can create divots. So that's what we see here. And so this one hasn't had any cleanup on it yet. You can still see little pieces of the investment and what I'll have to do is go in clean these up and any issues clean those off but there's our parts that we're using for class before cleanup